Hello everybody, welcome to iExam B. In this video, we are going to discuss previous year questions from Companies Act. Since there are more questions from Companies Act, we will discuss this in two parts. So starting with the first question in this video, what is a public financial institution? The correct answer is all of the above, all ABC are the public financial institutions as per section 272 of the Companies Act. Question 2. Which of the following is not true about nominal capital? The correct answer here is it is the contingency capital. This is not true about nominal capital. Nominal capital has all the above mentioned features and options except it is not contingency capital. It is the basic capital of the company to which company also pays stamp duty. Question number 3. What is the Appellate Tribunal under Companies Act? Its National Company Law Appellate Tribunal. Answer is D. As per section 2, subsection 4 of Companies Act. Question number 4. What are the maximum number of persons in a private company except a one person company? The correct answer here is C. 200. As per section 2, subsection 68, the maximum number of members in private company can be 200. Question number 5. To start a public company, minimum and maximum, how many directors can be appointed? The correct answer here is C. Minimum 3, maximum 15. This is as per section 149 of the Companies Act 2013. Every company shall have a minimum of 3 directors in case of public company, 2 directors in case of private company and 1 director in case of 1 person company. Company can appoint maximum 15 directors. Question number 6. When two or more companies carrying on similar business decide to combine, a new company is formed. It is known as, correct answer is amalgamation D. Question number 7. It is the charter of company. It is a document which amongst other things defines the area within which the company can operate. The first step in the formation of a company is to prepare this document. What is this document? This document is memorandum of association. Answer is option number B. Question number 8. Upper age limit of chairman is? The correct answer is B. 70 years as per section 196 of the Companies Act. Question number 9. When company purchases the business of another company, dash comes into existence. The correct answer is B. Absorption comes into existence. It is the merger where there is a combination of two or more companies into an existing company. Question number 10. The board of directors of a company shall exercise the following functions only with the consent of company by a special resolution which is not correct. So which of the following functions cannot be exercised by special resolution? Section number 180 of the companies I have talks about to remit or to give for the repayment of any debt due from a director. This does not need a special resolution with the consent of the company. Question number 11. Such capital as is authorized by the memorandum of company to be the maximum amount of share capital of a company is called as. Correct answer is B. Nominal capital. Section 2.8 of the Companies Act defines authorized capital or nominal capital as such capital which is authorized by the memorandum of a company to be maximum amount of share capital of company. Question 12. What is the assessment year for newly incorporated company? Correct answer is D. If company is incorporated on or after the first year of January of a year, assessment year shall be started from 1st April of the following year. This is section 2, subsection 41 of Companies Act. Question number 13. Startup companies with the potential to grow need a certain amount of investment. Well, the investors like to invest their capital in such business with a long-term growth perspective. This capital is known as, the correct answer is D, venture capital. Such capitalists are called as venture capitalists. Such investments are risky as they are illiquid but are capable of giving impressive returns if invested in the right venture. Question 14. With respect to the appointment of proxy to attend and vote at a meeting on behalf of any member of a company, consider the following statements. Which of the following is correct or false? Correct answer is D. Instrument appointing a proxy can be oral or written. This is given under section number 105 of Companies Act. Question number 15. Except with the consent of board of directors given by a resolution at a meeting of the board and subject to such conditions as may be prescribed, no company shall enter into any contract or arrangement with a related party with respect to all of the above. This is section 188 of Companies Act. Question number 16. If the quorum is not present within half an hour from the time appointed for holding a meeting of the company, the meeting shall stand adjourned to the correct answer is to the same day in the next week. Option number C. This is section 103 of Companies Act. Question number 17. Which of the following is not a method by which one person company with one director can raise money? Correct answer is issue of shares. One person company is a private company. It cannot raise money through the issue of shares. Then moving to question number 18. What is the minimum age of a director? The correct answer is B. 21 years. In order to become a director, minimum age is 21 and maximum age is 17. 
question 19 a copy of memorandum of association or article of association can be given to the members on request within correct answer is b 7 days of such request section number 17 talks about this question 20 what is the notice period for the annual general meeting of a company the correct answer is a 21 days section 101 notice of the meeting so here our part 1 is over we will be discussing the remaining questions in part b I hope this video is helpful. At our exam, we help you prepare 50% faster with crisp and concise content. Subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned. Thank you.